Lem Wong arrived in Vancouver aboard this vessel in 1897. It was part sailboat, part steamer. The officers were white, the crew Chinese. The trip from Hong Kong took him three weeks, and Lem Wong traveled steerage. They say he left China because his father gambled away the family fortune, leaving his widowed mother destitute. He came with an uncle, and his occupation was officially recorded as woodcutter. He was 16 years old and paid a head tax of $50. Lem and his uncle learned the laundry trade. The life of a Chinese laundryman was short. Many died in their 30s, suffering from malnutrition and overwork. Chinese Canadians were portrayed as being lazy or morally corrupt. Yet at the same time, they were accused of mysteriously competing with white workers. Such sentiments gave rise to malicious legislation that disenfranchised Chinese Canadians and demanded head taxes from Chinese immigrants. After five months in Vancouver, Lem said goodbye to his uncle and headed off alone to seek his fortune. Fifty years later, he's working behind the cash register of his restaurant in London, Ontario. Some would say that's not much of a journey, but Lem's success was measured by his character, the love for his children. He laid the foundation for a new generation. The humiliations meted out to Chinese Canadians of his generation never seemed to make him bitter or twisted by anger. Instead, they only served to heighten his sense of principle. Whether something was Chinese or Western didn't seem to matter to Lem Wang. What mattered was what was right or wrong. He always used to say, you should take only the best of both worlds. Serve the laws of Canada. I will fulfill my duties. 